guys, it's Rachel and today I'm back with another video. You might be able to guess from what you can see on the table here in front of me what kind of video this is. This is obviously going to be an updated what's in my bag. A couple of people messaged me on Instagram and asked me for this and I just thought, why not? Um, I have recently changed my bag. This is a bag that I got for Christmas from Chris and the kids have gone back to school recently which means that I am carrying a bag around on school run with me. There's a few things in it that I didn't have in my other one and I just thought, yeah, why not? Let's do this. Um, so this is quite a big bag from River Island. It was a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I had actually seen this myself and liked it. I had um, told my friend that I liked it and she had told Chris and he had got it me for Christmas. So that was how I ended up with it. Um, and when it arrived, I thought, oh, this is bigger than I thought it was. Um, because obviously if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that for a while there, I was on the quest for the perfect black crossbody bag. Um, I think I bought maybe, oh, six or seven of them and I kept showing them to you and plan with me and just generally chatting about it. And I'd seen this one and for some reason I'd not gone for it. I'd always tried to find something else. This was £30, I think, which is not expensive at all. Um, yeah, but for some reason I, I kept thinking about it but always went for something else and it turns out this was the bag that I wanted. Um, so when it arrived, or when I got it, when I opened it on Christmas Day, I thought, oh, this is bigger than I think I want, but actually it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. What I'm going to do, I think, is just going to take the camera off the tripod for a second, give you a look at it and then I'll pop you back um, because I think I'm pretty much on the edge of the... Um, of the screen and you might not be able to get a proper look at it so yeah i'll be back in a sec when i've just moved the camera okay so i think if i hold the camera here and you just forgive me for my unsteady hand we can get a better look at it um so if i put my hand on it maybe that'll give you a bit of sort of size reference so we've got like a little dangly sort of charm thing that's on the side of it if i'm honest don't really know if that's my thing and also when I'm walking it does jingle and sort of do my head in a little bit so I might still take that off I don't know yet but yeah this is sort of the size of it as you can see it's got a long uh, strap on there as well and it actually has um, like a buckle so that you can adjust how long it is I like to wear my bags quite long um, literally so that they just bounce off the side of my butt when I'm walking is, is round about the length that I like to have mine at but yeah so you got a bit of a better look there so I'm going to put this back on the tripod and then we can have a look at what I've got inside okay so I think what I'm going to do is move the bag to the side and then just pull things out one by one um, so we have got a pocket on the front here and in this front pocket is where I just keep things that I use all the time what do I have in here right now so I always have my face mask in there this is sort of the new normal thing that we have to carry around all the time with us. I have a million different ones of these. Currently, it's just this dusky pink one. My favourite one that I've got is one that's got um, like constellation pattern on it, which is really cute. And then I have um, a pocket back from Bath and Body Works. The brand, the brand just slipped out of my head then. I knew what that was. Um, and it said, my unicorn made me do it. It says magical mango. And then I just have a lip balm. I think I've got maybe three lip balms in my bag probably because I do have a habit of just sort of chucking them in but this is one that I got sent to review from Pixie it says peach pout um I haven't yet used that I only chucked it in the other day because I found it in my collection um but yeah what does it smell um no not really but it's a very very um sort of What's the word I'm looking for? No, it is a tint, it's not a lipstick. It's it's a slight bit of colour. And then the little thing that you can see in the middle, I think is like a moisturising sort of strip in there. So yeah, I just chucked that in there so that I could give that a go. And then if we go to the middle of the bag, um, it's sort of just one big pocket. And then there is like a little side pocket there. I just took some medication in there. I just have paracetamol. And then I do carry around some omeprazole with me because I can get a little bit... Um, a little bit of heartburn sometimes. I did have gallstones and have my gallbladder out, but just sometimes, not very often, but just sometimes I do find myself needing those. Oh, and I dropped one. I must, uh, I'm going to go and put that in the bin before it drops on the floor and I forget about it. Tucked that in the bin and I've tucked that medication back in there as well, so no accident. So let's see what else I've got in here. I have got my purse in here, which again is a River Island purse. Um, that was another thing that I was looking for for a while there. I was carrying around a Foxy Fix uh, Micro. TN um, and then I've had some purses off of Amazon um, but I just couldn't find one that was was one that I liked but I found this one on River Island I quite liked it because it had a full zip pocket that went round it I think maybe I would have liked a black one but I'm sure that there was one 
um, and I just didn't see it probably but I went for this pink and I just have in it my bank cards I don't have any change at the moment and I don't have any notes I tend to be a card person not a cash carrying person but yeah that is my purse which I love and then next up what do we have oh dear this is something funny that I'm carrying um so this is in my bag because I was going to give it to my friend and I've not yet given it to her when I've um one of the mums at school on school run so this is a crystal now the reason why I've got this is because I got some PR from Dermalogica that's why it's in a Dermalogica um bag and they gave me this serum thing and this came with it and you are supposed to use that was a serum that I got you're supposed to use the crystal to apply the serum to your face. Now, that is not my kind of thing at all. Um, although I did like this crystal because it's like heart-shaped. I don't think that's intentional. I don't know what it is. My best guess would be rose quartz. I don't even know if it's real or not. I'm going to presume so if they're telling you to um, put your skincare on with it. But yeah, I happened to mention it to one of the mums at school that I had it. And she just happened to say that she was quite into crystals. So you can have it if you want. So that is in my bag to pass to her when I next see her. I wouldn't normally carry a crystal around in my bag. Next up, I have got my brush. I've got a wet brush. They are my favourite kind of brush. I have a big one, which is actually slightly better than this, but this one is just one that I carry around in my bag. Um, you don't have to use them on wet hair, despite the name. You can use them on dry hair, and they are really, really, really good if you have hair that gets really knotty. So I have quite long hair, and it's very thin as well. And my mum always used to say, oh, Rachel, your hair's like rat's tails. It literally is. <laughs> Thanks, mum. It literally is, though, um, and it does get tuggy really easily. And this brush, or the bigger one specifically, but this one's all right, um is one of the best brushes for getting the tugs out without ripping your hair out so i do like to use that page is the same as well she gets tubby hair and it doesn't hurt her so i use that brush then i have got some doggy poo bags from the last time i took the dogs for a walk i don't actually buy doggy poo bags i'm sure this isn't a tip that i'm telling anybody but buy baby nappy bags they're so much cheaper for some reason if they're branded as doggy poop bags they charge more for them but you can get like a hundred in a packet for like 99p if you um, go to like a shop somewhere the next thing that i've got in my bag is um my earbuds so these are not expensive i can't remember the brand of them hmm it says KS on them, I've no idea. I just picked them up from um, Amazon. I think they were around £30. They were not mega expensive. I don't do expensive earbuds, really, because I will lose them. In fact, this is the first pair of earbuds that I've ever had because I wanted to watch, um, to listen to uh, some true crime podcasts on my way home from Dropping Page to School, which I have been doing. So they are my earbuds. Next in my bag, I have some soothers because I always have a sore throat, always. It drives me mad. And then I have got a hand cream from Bath & Body Works. This one is the Unicorn Tamer hand cream. What does it smell like? Let's give it a sniff. Oh, I wish you could smell that. It's really fruity. Oh, it says it's cucumber melon. It's really nice. I love that. Um, next up we have got another lip balm. Is that the second lip balm? I think that's the second one. This is just a Malibu one. It is a vanilla one that I've been using. I have a habit of picking them. I have them everywhere in my house, like on every bookcase, in every room, everywhere. Um, and I'll just grab them and use them and then chuck them in my bag. Then I have got another hand sanitizer. This one is one that I use on the kids. This one is just one from Aldi. I don't think it smells of anything. It says aloe vera. Um, and in all honesty, I don't like using my expensive uh, Bath & Body Work ones on the kids. So I just buy a cheap one for Aldi from, uh, from Aldi for them. Next up, I have got some antiviral handy wipes. Just handy to have for the kids, mainly because when I pick Paige up from school, I always take her a treat, a biscuit or some sweets or a chocolate bar from the shop. And she just tends to get a bit mucky. So I just have these. I'm sure that I picked these up from Aldi for about a pound. It might have even been something like 69p or something. They were not expensive and they are just handy to have in your bag. Next up, I have got a pen. That I believe is from Home Bargains, I think. It was part of like the Christmas things that they did. I have that in there. I did used to have a notebook in here as well, but I don't know where that has gone. And then the last thing that I have, I think, yeah, we are all empty now. The last thing that I have is my makeup bag. Now, this is actually a pencil case from Fab Planner Prints. Um, and if you remember, I'll just reach over and get it. 
I got a larger pencil case in my Josephine Bow Designs advent calendar. So this is now my pencil case, but I didn't want to get rid of that because I do love it. So I decided to use it as my makeup bag. So this is in my bag with me um, when I go on my travels. What do I have in here? Probably another lip balm. <laughs> Uh, what do I have? So I have a mirror. Uh, I don't want you to get the glare. I definitely don't want you to see my reflection. But yeah, I just have a little mirror there. Um, I have a Beauty Pie uh, translucent powder. This is the One Wonder Powder. Yeah, One Powder Wonder. It's amazing. I absolutely love this. I wish that you could buy things from Beauty Pie without having to do the three-month subscription thing. But I do do the three-month subscription thing every now and again just to get another one of these. Um, and obviously I do pick up some more stuff to make it worth it. But yeah, this stuff is absolutely amazing. I love it. It's like a real life filter on your face. I just love it so much. I have a little brush to apply that with. What's that on a BH Cosmetics brush? I have a hair tie, usually for Paige's hair when she comes out of school. Nine times out of ten when she comes out of school, she's lost a bubble. Um, so I do have a spare. And then I have, this is a Burt's Bees lip balm, I think. Or is this a lipstick? Might be a lipstick, it says Sunset Cruise. Uh, yeah, that's a lipstick, isn't it? So yeah, that I have in my bag too. So yeah, that is everything that I have in my bag. Nothing too weird actually this time. I usually get rid of the um, poop bags until the next time that I need them. Oh, and the, the crystal as well is something that I wouldn't normally carry around with me. Uh, but yeah, that is everything that I carry around with me in my bag. I thought that was in the middle of the camera and it wasn't. There we go. That is better. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love filming this video for some reason. It's it's a good excuse for me to tidy out my bag. I think that's what it is. Because we end up with all sorts of stuff in there. I'm surprised that there wasn't toys. Um, like, she has little figures that lose their arms and legs sometimes. And she'll give them to me and I'll just chuck them in my bag for when I find the figure that they belong to. Uh, but yeah, nothing that crazy in there this time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye.